Hey guys, welcome back to JR14 here. I am with another video for you guys. Before we get started on this video, I just want to say thanks for everyone who supported me at European Experience in 2018 out in Savannah, Georgia. You guys are awesome. The hospitality was great. All you guys are great. The fans, it was just a loving experience and I'm definitely going to be coming there every year. But today's video, today's video, we're in Georgia right now just enjoying our vacation and uh, we decided, well I decided, to uh, let this one learn how to drive a manual and um, I don't know how I feel about that but we're gonna get in the car real quick okay now how, how on a scale of 1 to 10 how nervous are you 10 being the um, most nervous and 1 being the least maybe like a I don't know nervous I'm not nervous Okay, well, she's, <laughs> she's not nervous. Okay, well, that that's always a good thing. Okay, so we're going to teach you how to drive a manual. So we're going to teach you a few steps. Okay, first is, myself. yes, that's the first thing. <laughs> adjust your seat, make sure you're comfortable. And uh, don't worry, I'll get you started in here in a minute because it is a little hot in Georgia right now. But, uh, okay. but uh, yeah, just make sure you can reach up to the pedals. And make sure you be able to push the clutch pedal all the way to the yeah. floor with no issues. Perfect. Good. Okay, great. So now the first thing you're going to learn how to do is learn the grid. So what I like to call, the, it's the H pattern grid. And basically the way that it is, is that you're going to learn how to shift through the gears. So it's usually, this is in neutral, which means you're in the middle right here. So it's able to go from side to side. You're going to go from, this is first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, and sixth gear. Okay. And then neutral is bring it back up or down depending on what gear you're in and you're able to wiggle it, wiggle it all the way back and forth. Okay? Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. So now I want you, you to do it. So grab your hand. Okay. Put, see if you're in neutral. I am. Cool. Put the car in first. Second. You're in second. Cool. Yeah. Third. Cool. Fourth. Fifth. Wait. Fifth. There you go. Okay. And sixth. And back to neutral. Mm -hmm. You were in the sixth. So go in. Oh, I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. I'll teach you how to, the only reason why you would push down on it's this angle, it's, it's a reverse, reverse but yeah. you would go just, if you, if you're in fifth, just hold it side like this and just bring it straight back. Oh, I, I heard it. Okay. Hold so, on. so that's third. Yeah. Fifth. That's fifth. And just bring it back there you go. Side. Now that's sixth. Okay. All right. And reverse, you put it back in neutral and make sure you're in neutral. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Perfect. All right. Now, um, what you're going to learn is reverse. So now. When you way you go in reverse is you push on a Volkswagen. All cars are different depending on their manuals, but in Volkswagens and Audis, push down and up. Okay. So you'll really see that it goes really far over to your left, mm -hmm. and that's when you know it's in reverse. So you try it. Push down, left, up. And you're in reverse. That's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And obviously this is a newer car, so when you're in reverse, you'll see that that backup camera comes okay. on and you'll know that you're in reverse. All right, so now we're gonna get you rolling. Push the clutch in and start the car while the clutch is in. All right, so while the clutch is all the way down, you push the car to, you push the button, start button to start the car and you're able to go. All right, you're, that, that enables you to start the car. All right, so usually sometimes if I'm on a hill or guys out there who don't know this, if you're on an in, on incline like we're on right now, I will leave the car in a forward gear because I don't want the car to roll backwards. If I'm on a decline, I will leave the car in reverse so the car doesn't roll forward because it's in a reverse gear. So usually, like in this scenario, I would be in first gear. So what I want you to do mm -hmm. is put the car in neutral, wiggle it back and forth to ensure that it's in neutral, push the clutch down, Hit the start button while the clutch is down. And when you finish, when the car is on, you can let go of the clutch. So All right, let's see you do it. So we're just going to put this in neutral. Okay. Clutch in. Press okay. Start. All right, now you can let your foot off the clutch. Okay. 
the car's idling at this point. This is technically the manual's park. Okay. So this is park for manual, e-brake up and neutral. Okay. Um, all right. So the way that you would normally get rolling, let me turn these lights off. There we go. So the way that you would normally get rolling, how are you doing so far? Good. Okay, good. All right. So good. So that's any way that you start the car. Ensure that's in neutral. Push the button. Uh, push the clutch in. While you have the clutch in, start the car with the start button, and then let go of the clutch and let it idle. So just make sure I'm always in neutral. Take the clutch. Okay. All right. And what, your clutch is down. My gas is up. So we're gonna do like a seesaw effect, right? Okay. So in three, two, one. So it should be right. Like that. So exactly what we just did. You're gonna do that with your feet. So when you put the car in first which means that every time that you would have to change a gear I have to put the clutch in. you would have to put the clutch in because the, the clutch disengages the clutch pack and allows you to switch the gear okay. and then letting the clutch out engages the clutch which allows the car to roll in that specific gear okay okay so usually the way you would do that is you would clutch in so you want me to do it now no no i'm gonna oh. just tell you <laughs> clutch in while you have the clutch in put it in first Hold the brake because you're rolling. Because obviously this is, you know, you're you're rolling off, and you're on an incline. You want to, you don't want to roll behind. You don't want to roll, roll the car backwards. So what you want to do is, clutch down, hold the brake, which is the middle pedal. Put this down. Put the e-brake down, and put the car in first. Mm -hmm. When you put the car in first, you're able to let off the brake, mm -hmm. and then roll your foot, roll your foot off of the clutch slowly. And as you're doing that, you're modulating the gas going down, down. Okay. and you're modulating the clutch coming up. Okay. All right. So, okay. go ahead, start the car. You don't have your foot all the way down. Okay. There you go. Good. Okay. Now, just don't worry about the gas. What I want you to do is modulate it with your foot, with the clutch. Come out slowly with the clutch. Keep going. It's gonna feel weird, keep going. Okay, I felt it. Mm-hmm, keep. So now I'm just gonna give a little gas. There you go, keep going, keep going, you're good. Awesome. So good, <laughs> you got the car rolling. Okay. Uh, and you modulated with a little bit of gas. As soon as you felt the bite point, you gave it a little bit of gas and you were able to accelerate perfectly fine. That was actually quick. First couple trials, like I said, it was on the hill. It's a little advanced. My bad. Yeah. I was like, so, go along with what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. All right. Now start I the car am again. going to start the car again. Put it in reverse. There you go. Okay. Turn the That's wheel the opposite way. Back. Good. Um, that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Let the clutch out slowly. And, oh, no one's behind me. Mm-hmm. No one's behind you. All right. Now you have the clutch and the brake. Take it out of reverse. Put it in first. Oh, no, don't push down. First. Know, mm -hmm. yeah. Turn the wheel the other way. I'm still in reverse though. It's okay, it's gonna turn off by itself. Oh. Put it in the first. Don't let that clutch or break out. Turn the wheel the opposite way. Yeah. All right, no. now slowly let the clutch out. Okay, it is. Um. Keep going. Right. Good, good. This was... Nope. Okay. Clutch in. You locked it in the gear. Clutch it in. Right now, neutral, right? Neutral, mm-hmm. This is wonderful. You seem stressed out. <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is a little intense. I told you. It's not, it's not difficult. It's really not difficult. If we had more space, and obviously we could, you know, obviously you'd be more comfortable because this is just a parking lot. That's all we have right now. But, it's brakes. Clutching. It's, it's okay. It's, it's okay. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right. Keep your foot on the clutch and the brake. Move the car from reverse to first gear. Okay. Good. Turn the wheel the other way. There you go. Clutch out slowly. Don't worry about the creaking, it's just the brakes. Straighten the wheel out good. Use your gas. Use your gas. My clutch is, I'm out. You're out. I'm out. This truck's new. Okay. Uh, yeah, because it definitely wasn't here before. Mm -hmm. And now, just... To come to a stop, clutch in. Just... Put the car in neutral while you have the clutch in. Let your foot off the clutch and use the brake the rest of the way. That's it. Okay. 
Not bad for your first for your first try. <laughs> Not bad. Don't get nervous. It's okay. It, you know what it is? It happens. It definitely, definitely happens. It's okay. It's okay. Good job. Okay. This is JR14. I'm running out of battery and I'm running out of memory. So hope to see you guys in the next one. Take care. <laughs>